Hello guys, this is Reese from Bomberito St. Peter's Volkswagen in St. Louis. Today I'm doing a different video. This one's going to be a comparison video between the R lines on the different trims. And this will apply to the Atlas Crossport and to some extent to the Atlas, the Volkswagen Atlas. So there are three R line trims. I have all three lined up here so you can kind of see the differences between the three. These are uh, in the foreground. This is an, an uh, Atlas Crossport SE Tech R line or SE with technology R line. In the middle, that is an Atlas Crossport SEL R line. And on the end, that is an Atlas Crossport SEL Premium R line. So they're going to look fairly similar, but there are going to be some distinct differences. The first two are 2021s, and that last one back there is a 2020. That doesn't matter because there weren't any visual changes or visual cues that changed in 2021 from 2020. So for uh, just video purposes and comparison purposes, they all work. They're all tourmaline blue, tourmaline blue metallic with black leatherette and leather interiors. So let's start with the first one here. On the SE with Technology R-Line, same body shell, same thing there. R-Line gives you body colored paint below the chrome line here and these 20 inch Trenton wheels. These are twi uh, 20 inch Trenton alloy wheels with dark anthracite color on them. That's the pattern you get, that's the wheel you get. It's locked in on the SE with technology. So as we go around this car, I'll go over some features here. Chrome on the window sills, not on the top. Chrome on the roof rails. This one has a panoramic sunroof. That's an upgrade, that's a $1,200 option on this car. The other two come with a sunroof standard. You have the R-Line air intakes on the front, a splash of chrome with that piano black finish down below, LED running lights, LED headlights, LED all-weather lights, the three-rib design here, the R-Line badge right here. Each one of these will have that. Now here's another change. If you look at the LED running lights on this SE with technology R-Line, only the two outside LEDs are lit even in a running light position. The other two, all four will be lit. The reason for that is these headlights do not have the adaptive front steering. That's where you turn the, the uh, wheel and the headlamps turn as well. These do not have that. So they only have the two outside ones. This is how you can differentiate between the headlight assemblies. Chrome, again right here, piano, I'm sorry, uh, body colored paint below that chrome line right there. It says cross border on the door on a regular Atlas. Those would say R line. They don't do that on a cross board. And as you come back here to the back, LED tail lights, LED reverse lights. Also, you have that faux quad exhaust tip, two on this side, two on this side, and a tow hitch. Oversized reflector there, LED tail lights, and a new Volkswagen logo there. This is on the exterior. This one is an SEL R line. Same body colored paint below the chrome line. Larger 21 inch wheels with an R line wheel. This is a Brazelton wheel. It's a machine black and silver alloy. As you look at the front here, there's your double hockey stick on this side for the LED running light. This has adaptive front steering headlights. Still has the R line grill or air intake on the base. The R line badge right here. Chrome right here with body color paint below that chrome roof rails the cross sport badge on the side chrome exhaust on the back as well it's faux exhaust tips quad exhaust again with the oversized reflector so the back end looks exactly the same as this one and that one over there it says SEL V6 on the back the window sill though the chrome is along the window sill and also up over over the top as well so the last one here, this is an SEL Premium R-Line over here. This one will feature chrome surrounds all the way around, chrome roof rails, 21 inch alloy wheels, body colored paint below the chrome line. As you come around to the front, there are your double hockey sticks for the LED running lights. Also, we've added a front-facing camera right here. That gives you the 360-degree view of the camera. 
chrome roof rails again, body colored paint, and as you come around to the back, quad exhaust tips again, they're faux exhaust tips, trailer hitch, you name it, you have it. So there are your visual cues, your differences between the SEL, SE, I'm sorry, SE Tech, SEL, and SEL Premium R lines. So we'll come back over here to the first one. Interior finish wise, we'll go over that real quick. This again is an SE with tech or SE with technology. As you open the door here, you have keyless entry on four doors, leatherette seats with this bold white stitching right here, lumbar support forward and back and seat back. You're gonna have all of that. The armrest is gonna be leatherette, flat bottom leather wrap steering wheel, steering wheel with the grips right here. Quartzite inset in the door and this quartzite pad here that changed for 2021. So this SEL premium that I'm gonna show you won't have it this way but the uh, 2021s do, uh, even regardless of the fact that it's an SE with tech. Automatic headlights, coin box there, adjustable steering wheel, standard analog instrument cluster with a customizable LCD in the middle, an MIB3 radio, which also does gesture control, so I can actually swipe my hand in front of the radio there. The backup camera gives you trajectory steering. This does this on all three models that I'm showing you here. Also, App Connect and Android Auto, or Android Auto and MirrorLink and, and uh, uh, Apple CarPlay are all done wirelessly. You have two USB-C connections right here with wireless charging right here, and a three-prong, I'm sorry, uh, a 12-volt uh, adapter plug right here. Now, the 2021s have wireless CarPlay. That last one down in there that I'll show you does not because it's a 2020. Carbon fiber finish across the dash. In the glove box here no cd player that's also going to be missing out of the uh next one and then the seo premium being a 2020 will still have a cd player in it but sd card holders right there uh no sd card reader no cd player nice look around right there so nothing else really changed edgeless auto dimming mirror here here's a look at that panoramic sunroof with the power sunshade Remember, this is a $1,200 option on this car. They don't come standard on the SE with technology. The back seats. As we look at the price tag here, $42,550 with the MDO package. Or actually on this one, it doesn't have an MDO package. It has the $1,200 sunroof, the tow package for $550, um, auto dimming mirror for $325, and uh, monster mats for $235. There's a look at the back seats. Three prong plug in, these are the important changes. Uh, three prong plug in right here, two USB C connections right there, child seat hookups there, and also right here with that fold down armrest right there in a cup holder. They keep the dark quartzite or gray inset in the doors on a 2021. There's a look at that giant panoramic sunroof. And then the back hatch, these are all going to look the same pretty much in the back hatch. There's a look at your cargo blocks, your monster mats, seatbelt clip protectors. Um, and then this will also, those seats will also fold flat. And it has a power lift gate and remote start. Come over to this one. As we open this one up, this is still a 2021, but this is an SEL R line. Seats look exactly the same. You add three seat memory in addition to your lumbar forward and back and seat just adjust there. Same leatherette armrest right there with the white stitching. Same up here on this side. Same quartzite inset in the door right here and padding. You upgrade to a digital cockpit. Volkswagen's digital cockpit. Um, with three customizable screens here. There's widescreen, crop screen, and dial screen right there. Same steering wheel as you had in the first one. Adjustable coin box for storage. Automatic headlights. Uh, you now have a speaker up here in front, um, two USB-C connections, wireless Android Auto or CarPlay. You have Android Auto wirelessly playing right here on my phone, out of my pocket. That wireless charger there, 12 volt charger port there. There is a USB-C connection inside of here. The glove box, again, SD card reader, no CD player, I'm, I'm sorry, no SD card reader, and that's an SD card holder, and then no uh, CD player as well. 
carbon fiber again, auto dimming mirror. Now this sunroof with the sunshade is standard on this one, comes with it and the tow hitch is also standard. As we open this one up, look at the back of this one, 47, 180. Extras on this are gonna include um, the uh, MDO package, 760 bucks, which brings you to that 47, 180. There's a look at the seats. They're exactly the same as they were in the other one. Seat, uh, child seat hookups here and here. Armrest and cup holder right there. Two USB-Cs right there and a three-prong plug-in right there. As that plane flies overhead, you hear that? There's a look at your 21-inch wheels. A reminder that you can fly in and drive out. I'll pick you up at the airport. We're under the flight path. Panoramic sunroof. This one has the MDO package, so it has this cargo cover, a privacy cover, cargo blocks, monster mats, what have you, and a power lift gate. All of these are going to have remote start and a power lift gate. They just have different variations. Now, as we go to the SEL Premium, keep in mind this is a 2020, so we're kind of rolling back the clock one year, but it's not much different for 2021. Here you have gray, the quartzite gray. For the leather seats these are actually leather so these are heated and ventilated seats there's heavier perforation in the seats three seat memory here lumbar support forward and back or what have you there nice sporty bolster there nice comfortable so leatherette headrest leatherette armrest right there the inset and in the door here continues to be black on this if this were a 2021 it would be gray just like the other two and gray right here on this pad this one upgrades the power folding mirrors in addition to uh power mirrors and they all have a power lift gate as well. Digital cockpit right here. This is the old version of the digital cockpit. So this one, the map's gonna look a little different. You still have your dial screen, your wide screen, and your crop screen. Automatic headlights, coin box right here, that sport grip steering wheel as well, R-line badge down here. This one has two USBs, the regular USBs. Auxiliary port was still around for 2020 and then a 12 volt charger port there. Um, if you fast forward to 2021, the same car as a 2021, these would be two USB-Cs, the auxiliary's gone. You still keep wireless charging here and you gain uh, wireless app connect, which allows you to do wireless Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. Currently in this car, being a 2020, you're gonna have to hook up to these two USBs here to run your app connect or Android Auto. You still have that backup camera with trajectory steering, all three have it. There's that speaker up there on the top. Carbon fiber finish right there. This one still has a CD player in the glove box and an SD card reader for your navigation and also for music. SD card holders right there. There's a look at that inset and the seat. The seat right here is all leather. The back row seats are also gonna be leather. There's that auto dimming mirror with the compass. That panoramic sunroof with the power sunshade right there. And as we look at this one here, it doesn't have the price tag in there. This is actually a, de a demo, a leftover demo. 51575 extras are the MDO package, which included that uh, cargo cover, auto dimming mirror, monster mats, um, and a trunk liner. So if you look in the back seat of this one, oh, it helps if it's unlocked. Oh, and it does have Fender Premium Audio, so you're gonna have an AM, FM satellite radio with a subwoofer in a trunk. Here's a look at the leather seats in the back. These are heated and ventilated. I'm sorry, heated, not ventilated, excuse me. Cup holder right here and armrest, and two heated seats right here in the back as well. Two USB connections right there, and then a three-prong plug-in. Oh, and also sun shades in the back rear. The SEL Premium is the only one that has that. Those 21 inch wheels and then the back hatch here. Here's a look again. Cargo covers right here. They fold flat. There's a look up to the back. Very nice setup. 12 volt charger port right there. Power lift gate as well. These last two have that easy kick open hatch as well. So you'll have that on those. All three of these cars come with a four-year, 50,000-mile bumper-to-bumper warranty on it from Volkswagen. That's four years, 50,000 miles. If you buy from me at Bomberito St. Peter's, you're going to get an additional two years. I'm sorry, it comes with two years free maintenance as well. Uh, you're going to get an additional third year 
a free maintenance. That's a local deal only though. So at my dealership, we'll honor that third oil change. Um, but also if you buy from me at Bomberito St. Peter's, so you know, if you fly in and drive out, you're going to get three years, I'm sorry, 10 years, 200,000 miles nationwide engine and powertrain warranty on the car free of charge. That's 10 years, 200,000 miles nationwide engine and powertrain warranty free of charge. So on the left here to finish up, this is an SEL Premium R-Line Atlas Crossport. This is an SEL R-Line Atlas Crossport, and that's an SE Tech R-Line Atlas Crossport. Very nice. It's a great color. It's a great looking car. Volkswagen's hit it out of the park with these. If you're interested in any of these cars, any of them at all, or if I need to order a car for you or, or try to find a car that you need, if you're willing to travel to St. Louis to purchase that car, give me a call. 636-290-4257. 636-290-4257. I'm on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter at Reese Sells Cars. Thanks a lot, guys. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Have a happy 2021. And hope to hear from you soon.